today I'm going to be doing a spring haul for you guys which I'm so excited about because it is horrible outside and I'm just so looking forward to spring. But the other really cool part about this haul is that everything I purchased here you can buy online. I'm new to the online shopping world and I really really like it now but there are definitely things that I'm still learning as I online shop and tips and tricks that I think you guys would benefit from knowing about. So I'm going to tell you guys those kind of things throughout the video. So with that said, I'm just going to get right into it. So the first few things I'm going to be showing you are from a site called Plunder. It's kind of like a online flash sale site where different brands will sell items on Plunder for a discount. So it kind of reminds me of like a Winners or a TJ Maxx in the sense that when you go to Plunder, you have no idea what you're going to find, but you do know that whatever you do find will be on a discount. So the first thing I have here is this really pretty striped dress. I just think that this is so cute. And the brand is, yeah. So it's called yeah that's the brand um, I really like this dress and it kind of goes to the knee and is a bit a line I know it's kind of hard to tell with the stripes here how uh, the dress would actually fit but it's just such a pretty dress you could wear this uh, to work with a blazer you could wear it to the beach with a fedora and some cute sandals or you could even wear it with heels and dress it up for a night out so this is just a really good versatile dress that I'm really excited to be wearing for the spring and the summer this is this really pretty eagle shirt just pink, high-low. I really like the print and I've already worn it and gotten compliments on it because it's just so different, which I love. And this is from the brand Local Celebrity. Next I have this long black maxi dress. It's just really long and really black and very, very simple, but I didn't own something like this. And I really, really wanted something that was good for my height. I'm a little bit taller and it's really hard to find a maxi dress that will go all the way to the ground from somewhere like Forever 21. It always like cuts off at the ankles. And this one had the right dimensions, which brings me to my first point. Definitely check out the dimensions of whatever you're buying online. Most sites should have the measurements of their clothing right on the site there, so it's really easy. Just take your measurements, keep it somewhere on your computer so you can reference, and that way you know exactly what you're getting. And some items are just easier to find than others. So this one, it's a little big in the bust, but it shouldn't be a big deal with a little cardigan over it or a sweater over it when it's cooler or even just like a light jacket um, or a belt. There are so many ways that I can play with this where that's not a big deal. Another item that it doesn't matter if it's too big or too small are really big slouchy sweaters like this. So as you can see this one's big. I got it in a medium. Definitely not too big for me. I could have even gotten a large because I like mine really big and really comfortable. But these kind of sweaters are perfect to buy online because you never have to worry about it not fitting you. It should fit perfectly fine because it doesn't matter if it's a little bigger or a little smaller. The last few clothing items I got from Plunder. It's this really pretty blouse type top. It's actually a bit more casual than a blouse. I love the rainbow stripes and the marbling. Um, and this is from the brand... Um, Motel Rocks. And then this one I love because I have never seen something like this other than maybe on Instagram. It's just one of those really cool pieces. So it's this really pretty mint and coral blouse. Pretty like normal here. It goes up pretty high. But in the back it goes a little lower with this really pretty bow which I just think is such a pretty detail. So again, something like this I haven't seen in stores, it's different, and I was really excited to find it on Plunder. And the last item I wanted to show you from Plunder are these little booties that I got. Um, whoo, they are really, really cute camel, and they're from the brand Michael Antonio. Another tip or trick for online shopping, be careful when it comes to heels because you can find some that are really comfortable and then you can find others that are not so comfortable, and it's not always... Uh, it doesn't always correlate with the price. So these boots were, I mean, not overly cheap. They were definitely, you know, a good price for boots. But um, they were also discounted, right? So I just didn't expect to buy them and find them to be uncomfortable. But for me, they are. And I think a big reason is because of how high the heel is. I didn't check the dimension when I was on the site, which it should have. And they're just too high for me. So I'm going to have to find someone who would want these boots or try to sell them off because they just aren't uh, the type of boot that I would wear for every day. So just be careful when it comes to boots. 
Also the size of shoes. Shoes are heavier so they're going to be more expensive to ship back and most online stores uh, have you pay for the shipping back so they'll take clothes back but you have to pay for shipping which can get really expensive like sending a pair of these shoes back can cost a lot of money so just be careful when you're buying them and there are other types of shoes that you can buy like sandals that are a little bit easier they've got more give to them and so if they are a little smaller or a little bigger you can still get away with wearing them you know whereas boots like this they really have to fit perfect that is everything from plunder and I really really like this site I recommend you guys going and checking it out I had a great experience picking the items from there and um, definitely will be shopping there again so check out plunder I'll have that link down below for you guys the next site that I shop at is SheInside.com, which I've actually talked about before in um, my last haul. I think it was a Christmas haul or something like that. Um, this fake leather jacket I got from there, I love this. I think this is so, so cool. So motorcycle. It's a little expensive for SheInside. SheInside is a store from Asia, and their clothes are pretty inexpensive, really cute. Um, a lot of them are one size fits all, which is kind of nice because they're that like bigger slouchier look, which I really like. Um, and this one is just a little bit more on the expensive side for a fake leather jacket. That being said, it looks excellent. Like I would definitely um, recommend getting this and think it's worth the money because it just looks so good on and doesn't look fake, which is awesome. So there's that jacket and I will link that jacket directly down below because it's a little hard to find on their site. And then there is this blazer, which I love, with the waterfall neckline here. Um, and it's got a bit of puffier sleeves, which is really cute too. Um, this one I love, very on trend. The problem with blazers, which is the next tip or trick, is that the uh, shoulder length is really hard to get right. I actually measured my shoulders before buying this, chose the medium, and it's still a bit snug. So I can get away with wearing it. It's not so horrible that I can't wear it, but it's definitely something where you just can't choose the size you normally are. Like I chose a medium in this, and um, I would probably normally choose a small if I didn't measure myself. Also, when you're buying clothing from a different country, their sizes can be a little off compared to what you're used to. So just be careful, get your measurements, double check with things like this. And with something like a blazer, don't spend a ridiculous amount of money on one unless you know that you can send it back and get your money back for it. The last store I'm gonna be showing you items from is one of my new favorite stores of all time, and it's called Barmanista. And it's a little boutique online store, and it's based out of Saskatchewan in Canada, which is really cool, but they do ship worldwide, so you don't need to worry about it being a Canadian store. Such cute items, very personalized, very unique. It's definitely a boutique online, which is a really, really cool part about online shopping. You don't need to just buy from the big box stores like a Forever 21 or an American Eagle. Um, you can buy from these really small little boutique stores that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get to because it's in Saskatchewan, Canada. So really, really cool, really interesting pieces, and I'm so excited to show you them now. And for the record, their customer service is excellent. Like the little stuff that they included. For example, they included this little card with my um, order. It says thank you and it's handwritten on the inside which is adorable. So they are just awesome, so nice and you guys are going to love shopping from them. So again, links will be down below. So the first item I have here is this really super bright bla uh, blazer. No. <laughs> Super bright blouse. I love this. I love the white and I love the neon collar, which is actually coming off pretty well on camera right now. Um, this is going to be great in the summertime for color blocking, for tucking into a pair of distressed jeans. I am so excited about this. I think it's really, really cute. And this is from the brand only. Farmanista um, has clothes from different brands. It's not like Farmanista brand clothing, if you know what I mean. It's a boutique. So this is from the brand only. Um, the next item I have here is a dress, and this dress is so cute. It reminds me of something that Carrie would wear in the Carrie Diaries, which if any of you guys are as obsessed with that show as I am, let me know in the comments down below because I'm loving that show. And I kind of want to do a, like, fashion video or makeup tutorial or hair tutorial, something 80s inspired because of Carrie Diaries, because I just think it's so awesome. Anyway, this dress is just, it reminds me of something Carrie would wear. Uh, it goes down to probably about mid-thigh, it's got the exposed zipper in the back, 
and just the really pretty colors and prints here. Um, really, really pretty dress for spring and summer. The next item I have is this blouse from Veramoda. Really pretty pink with the flowers on it. I wore this in an Instagram picture recently and you guys really liked it. So that's where I got it from. It was from Firmanista. The last clothing item I have is this really pretty pineapple dress. Uh, this is from the brand Yumi, and I just think this is so cute. The last few things I have to show you from Firminista are accessories. First, I got these really cute little sandals, which I just think are awesome. They're from the brand uh, Warshoffer, original Warshoffer footprint. Um, and they are so comfortable, just a very, very slight little heel. And I just think that the red will be a really nice touch in the summertime. And again, these are a really great pair of shoes to buy online. They've got the peep toe and they also have the sling back that adjusts. So if it's a little big or a little small, you can kind of compensate for it in the sling back and in the open toe. It's also definitely not a heel. It just has a very little platform there. So you won't have to worry about it being too high to walk. In. The last couple things are um, some accessories. I actually got a little pair of white earrings and I can't find them. I'm thinking they're somewhere downstairs. So um, I'm just going to leave the link to them down below. They're really cute. They are like um, studs with flowers on them. Really adorable. Uh, again, the link will be down below. Then I got this really pretty necklace. Aquamarine. I just love how bright it is. Um, and I think it's going to be great with even just a shirt like this. This is a pretty casual um, v-neck and so a really pretty statement necklace like this will be great in the summertime with a pair of white shorts or distressed denim jeans. And then I've got this really cool cross bracelet. Um, gold with the black rope there which I just think is really great for layering or even for wearing on its own. It kind of roughens up anything you're wearing. So that's it with this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and you found some of the tips that I gave you guys helpful. I'm also going to be doing a best of Etsy series where I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite Etsy shops and how to shop on Etsy. That will be coming up so stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about online shopping um, let me know in the below bar and maybe I'll put together a question and answer video for you guys if you'd be interested in that. Once again, check out Plunder, Farmanista, and She Inside. All the links will be in the description box, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!